Hi guys, my name is Elena and I have a confession to make. I am addicted to shoes. Hi guys, it's Elena, and I'm enchanted for you to be here on my channel. Yes, you have seen the title correctly, and yes, the intro is correct. I have an addiction to shoes. I currently have about, I'd say over 200 pairs of shoes, and that's not counting this big haul. So if you are a shoe-aholic, like I am, give a like to this video, comment down what your favorite style of shoe is because I would love to know and have you ever done something crazy like I have done. So <laughs> I think it's hilarious and uh, yeah let me, let me explain why 15 pairs of shoes. So these shoes are from a website called Just Fab and they're a very inexpensive clothing store, shoe store, that type of thing. And they were having a sale where it was $20 for any boot or any booty. And that got me really excited. And then I had another coupon that gave me a couple percent off. So all of these shoes turned out to be less than $20, 20 US dollars a pair. Granted, I did get 15 pairs of shoes but they just make me happy. So I'm excited to share this little bit of my shopping haul with you. So um, because these boxes are so huge, I'm gonna kind of do it off to the side and then take out per small box, show you the shoes, and then later on I'm gonna do a little montage of me trying them on and walking through them. And afterwards I'll talk about how comfortable I feel in them and what I think about them, the quality of them, and all that type of thing. So I'm going to try to scooch those boxes over. <laughs> So they are two big boxes. I have one on top of the other, and as you can see, they're kind of massive. I haven't opened them yet. I'm going to do that with you here, and I am so excited, you have no idea. Let me know, guys, if you are interested at some point seeing my whole entire oh, sorry let me know if you guys are interested at some point seeing my entire shoe collection filled with heels stilettos boots booties sneakers, wedges galore, and my collection is huge, so probably would have to be like separate, couple separate videos, but let me know if you're interested in that, because I would love to try them all on again and see how I feel about all my shoes. Okay, first pair. As I said, they are from the website called Just Fab. I have been a member of them for about, I'd say about two years. I know sometimes people haven't had great luck with them and their reviews could be a little off, but um, I've never had any issues with them. Although at one point I did order a couple pairs of shoes and in one of the boxes they sent me one shoe instead of two shoes, one shoes. But their customer service was great. They resent the shoes and everything was fine. Um, their returns are really easy, and like I said, I've never had any issues with them. I have also bought clothes from them. I just recently got an or order order of jeans, and they're great. So, um, now for the shoes. This is 
called Talu Talula booties and they're in the color bone. Oh, look how pretty. Look at this gorgeous shoe. I love the toe of it. These are cute. The toe is fully metallic, which will greatly preserve the life of the shoes. I don't know about you guys, but when I wear shoes, especially on my right foot, on my right foot, the toe kind of gets scuffed up. So these are great. I'm not a fan of, let's say the base of it, it's a little slippery. There's not much texture to it, but I can fix that with a little bit of sandpaper. And let me make sure the second pair matches. Here's the second one. Oh, these are beautiful. So here is pair one. I will put them back in the box just so I know which one's which and in case I don't like it, I can return it. And I'm gonna try to put it off to the side. Maybe I'll have to move over sides, so we'll see. So that's one. Guess this video is gonna be a little long, all these shoes. Here is two and this one is Enya booties in the color sand. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, oh these are cute too and they're like a velvet texture. There's a little bit of glue on this side but it came off. Look how pretty. Come on camera, focus. Look at the heel. And I mean, for like less than $20 a pair, that's not that bad. Here's that one. This two. Make sure that the same. Oops. Here is that. And they are a nice like suede velvety texture and the heel feels like quite solid so these have a bit of weight to them. Okay, on to the next. There's another website called Shoe Dazzle and I think Just Fab and Shoe Dazzle are one and the same because some of the boxes do come with a Shoe Dazzle logo. But I got these all off of the Just Fab website and it doesn't mark or identify or anything like that if one is just just fab or shoe dazzle or anything like that it just comes in shoes and this one is keva booties in the color white the reason why majority of these are white or like nude colors is because i barely have any majority of the colors that i wear are black Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, I love it. The toe is done nicely. Zipper works well. Look, these are gorgeous. The light is blinding it, but it's a very, very white color and they're like a fake leather type. awesome and it even comes with extra heels in case you wear them out. Here, these. Making sure they're all good, that none of them need to be returned. Here is that. Oh, these are just too cute. myself to myself. That's, that's what it is. That's my excuse. This is my birthday present. 
And I lost the top of this one. Here's the top. This is a just fat one. And these are called Floia, Floia booties, black and white. <gasps> and I saw these and I fell in love with them. Look. I love. They're a little lighter. The heel seems kind of hollow on the inside. I'd say these shoes are like a tiny bit heavier than these shoes. I'm not sure how that works. I think that heel is just a little bit more solid. This seems more plastic. That one seems more like rubber based. Oh, these are gorgeous. Let me see the buckle of it. I am so excited. Look. I love heels. For some reason, I find heels to be way more comfortable than sneakers. And it's a le fake leathery fabric here. It's on a bit of a platform, tiny bit of a platform, which would be great, especially in like this rainy weather. And it's fabric here. So I wouldn't say they're water resistant at all, maybe at the toe. So if it's kind of like a rainy day, but the rain has stopped and it's like a little bit of puddle type of stuff. So these would be great for that. But I won't say that they are any waterproof or like rainproof. So here they are again. And they are beautiful! And they make me so happy. And we got four down. Oh boy. Here's the next one. These are Karsha booties in the color Port Royale. So I'd say they're red, yes. Oh, I'm so excited for these. I got them because they had like a slouch look to them. Making sure they're all good. Yup. So here is this gorgeous shoe. I assume when it's on, you can like squish it down and it's more of a slouched look. We'll get to see once I try all these shoes on. And I'd say in the camera, they're coming out a little bit more like reddish brown. I'd say they're a bit more like a reddish purple in real life. So, yep, yeah, they slouch down a bit. Once I take all that stuff out, make sure shoe is good, there's nothing damaged, no issues. Here's that. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh gosh, so many shoes. top in there. These are Enya booties in the color olive. So the same as like this, the shorter velvet booties in like a nude color. These are similar in an olive color. And I love to wear anything olive color because I have green eyes and it just makes them pop. So here is that. And again, it's like a velvety texture. I'm going to bring it up close. Um, I'd say the lighting and the camera makes it seem a lot more greener than in reality. I'd say in reality it's a bit of a darker, more olive tone. Make sure the second one is good and matches. Here is that. What is your favorite style of shoe to wear? Kind of want to know if there are those heel wear people out there like me, 
or if I'm the only crazy one because I definitely prefer heels over sneakers and flats. I really only wear sneakers to the gym. Um, I've tried wearing sneakers kind of like to class and out and about and it just doesn't feel comfortable for me. It, it's not the greatest. So I've stuck to heels, at least some kind of little heel. Flats, maybe, depends on the outfit. Sometimes during the summer I wear like flatter sandals but I'm definitely a heels, heels person. Okay, so that is six pairs. First big box is empty. Push it aside and we're gonna get on to the next big box. I don't know if they'll be able to fit seven into this one. I might be missing a couple shoes. upside down. Oops. Okay, we have this box and these are heeled boots called Nanette and they're in the color Bone Multi. <gasps> oh, these are the tall boots that I got. I saw them on the page and that's what prompted my obsession to just go ahead and buy 15 pairs. These are tall boots. I'm not a fan how they package them folded up. Hopefully it's not going to leave like any wrinkles or any issues. There's a little bit of like frayed string out here, but that cleaned up fine. Oh, look how pretty. <gasps> look at this gorgeous shoe. I can't wait to put it on and try it out. So there's one. At least these came in the mail. I hope I'm not missing any shoes, but I only got two big boxes, so I kind of have a feeling that I didn't get all of them yet. I ordered it about a week ago, I would say. Make sure they're all good. No weird stains or weird blemishes. Nope, fairly good. So here they are. I do hope it doesn't like wrinkle as badly because it's been put in a box folded. So here's that. Here's the side of it. Just look how pretty. I am stoked. I'm not going to fold these back up and I'm going to put these on the floor so they can kind of relax a little and actually put them the other way. There. So they can relax a little and unfold. I'm just going to slide them under the table. Okay, we're at box eight, and these are booties, Karsha in black. I don't remember which ones are these. We have, oh, those are like the red ones, but just in black. And again, I think I got them because they have like a slouchy look to them. Come on, cooperate, fit. Yes. Oh, look how cute. I feel like the heel is different than that one. Yeah. I like how the heel of this is like a plasticky material versus this one being covered in velvet. I feel like the velvet ends up being worn out faster than pl the plastic stuff. And the plastic, sometimes the color gets scuffed up, but if you take a um, marker, permanent marker that matches the color of it, you can kind of salvage it a little longer versus velvet. Because if the velvet dies, then it dies. And I'm not one to wear shoes that end up having a lot of scuff or issues or marks. I just find it very unclassy, I suppose. So here's the second one. Oh, look how pretty. They just make me so happy. And I assume once I put them on my foot, I can give them more of a slouchier look. And I'll tell you how they feel on my foot. And we'll go from there. 
I have a tower of shoes and it makes me so happy. box nine. These are Booties Aiden Black Multicolor. I don't even remember what this is. Come on. Oh, now I do. They are gorgeous. So they have some black, they have a little bit of brown and some of the olive green on the inside. And the laces are brown and they are just beautiful. They're in a bit of a platform and I would say this is about a six inch heel, but the platform is, I'd say about an inch. Yo, I think these might be my favorite. Let me give you an up close view of it. They are a very like shiny and fake leather material. So I'd say they'd be a little bit more water resistant with them being on a platform would make it a little bit more water resistant. But just look how pretty. And they're perfect for the fall. I'm glad there's nothing wrong with them and that they're in good condition. And the sole of them is really textured, so they'll be fairly good for walking around in like the wet leaves and stuff. So here they are together. Did I put them separate? Here they are together. And they are gorgeous. And I can't wait to try them all on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, box ten. And these are booties, Kaya, and bone. And let's see. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. And I love the gold accent decals. Let me get the second one out. Make sure nothing, there's no issues with them. Yep. Here they are up close. And again, sorry for the blinding light, but they are, they say it's the color bone, but I would say it's more white rather than bone. Look how pretty in the zipper on the inside. Can you see my like ridiculous grin of my tower of shoes? Tower of shoes. Let's move you aside. And then number 11, I'm missing four pairs. So these are booties, karsha, and bone. And I believe it's the same as those wine colored boots and come on, fit in. And the black boots. They're a bit slouchier. And they are kind of a lot different than them. They are not velvety at all. They are more of a fake leather. And they seem a little more slouched or like permanently slouched than the other ones. Oops. Um, there's a little like glue issue here on the tip of the shoe, but I don't think it'll be visible if I wear it. So for less than $20, it's a pass. Let's say. I'd have to see when I try them on and what they look like. But look, again, the color says bone, but I would say they are more 
white. Here's that. And I'm missing four pairs. Hmm. Not sure why. Um, I'm not sure if I'll post the video with this, with the missing four pairs, or if I'm going to wait until they come in. I'm going to check and see where they're at. <laughs> see when they will be delivered but for now I'm gonna proceed into the montage of me trying on these shoes hope you enjoy because I certainly am loving this I really like <clears throat> I really like the style of these shoes. I love the metallic embellishment at the toes. It's great as like a decoration and it would definitely prolong the life of the shoes. Again, right at the fold of the toes, there's not much reinforcement, so walking there'll definitely be a crease. The stiletto heel of it is really cute and I'd say fairly sturdy. The, the pressure point of where this heel is at is in a good place, a good comfortable place for me. They're a little shorter, so I wasn't really able to tuck my jeans in that are going to come out and look odd and strange. So I'd say these are for either cropped jeans, cropped pants, or no pants at all, maybe like a skirt or something. They're really cute, and I adore them. These feel really comfortable. I love how they look on my foot. I love the retro style of them, kind of an old fashioned look. I'd say the laces seem a little long, so I had to double bow them, but that's just gonna keep them from untying quicker. There's no zipper on the inside, and the only trouble with these is that you really have to unlace the shoe completely in order to be able to stick your foot in, at least for me in my opinion but other than that i love them they're so cute and really comfortable the heel feels really nice and because it's more of a rubbery rather than plastic it's going to be more comfortable to walk in so these are the shoes that came in the shoe dazzle box i feel like their size six is a little bit tighter than just Fab's size six for some reason. So I wasn't able to tuck my jeans on the inside, but they have a zipper on the side. These are like extremely pointy toes shoes. And I love the fact that they're a stiletto booty. They are okay on comfort. These are not shoes that you'd be able to wear for a long walk anywhere, but if you're going out to dinner or something like that, they would be great. I do love how they have a bit of reinforcement at the toe. They have a seam on it. So when you're walking, it folds up on that seam and you aren't, aren't able to see it as much as if there was no reinforcement. The heel of it is fairly thin, but it's quite solid though I'd say it's in an awkward pressure point under my heel. Maybe it's just my foot and my size, but as I'm walking, the pressure point of where the heel is at is not centered to my heel, and it's in a little bit of an awkward spot. Though nothing that would make it an unwearable shoe. You just won't be able to walk for a long time in these. And like I said, if you're at dinner or something, definitely they'd go great. Or if you're out to see a show where you don't have to walk for a long time, they would be awesome to wear. The quality of them is fairly good, I would say. Um, yeah, here they are. Oh, 
my gosh these are incredibly comfortable they have a functional zipper on the inside functional laces functional buckle and a decorative zipper on the outside but let me tell you how comfortable these are they are softer on the inside so it's great to walk in the heels not too high my toes are not being squished and they just might become this season's favorite shoe of mine so comfortable and so cute I love these they feel really nice and squishy on the inside they have a zipper on the side like that they're fairly comfortable to walk in my toes feel comfortable and I love the slouchiness the slouchiness definitely does look better on the foot rather than me just holding it up and these are cute I love the color the only thing I would say is when I'm walking it's gonna have a crease right at the toes it's not reinforced or anything so that might pose a little bit of a problem, might create more of a wear. And the fact that the heel itself is velvety and suede like the shoe. So that's going to create a little bit easier wear of the shoe rather than if it were plastic or a rubber type material. So here are these. These feel like an amazing quality shoe, much more than what I've spent on them. They only have functioning laces, there is no zipper in the inseam, and they were kind of a struggle to get in. You really have to unlace them to be able to get your foot in, at least for me. But I love the way that they feel, they are so comfortable. The heel feels really sturdy, and they're not super soft on the inside, but because the heel is more rubbery, it makes it easier to walk on so i absolutely love these shoes and i love how like old-fashioned and retro they look so these shoes i was not able to zip them up for the life of me i tried it with the sock i tried it without the sock they just wouldn't budge and I'm really sad about that because they're comfortable and they're the same exact size as the other shoes that I got. So I'm not sure what is happening. It could be just the zipper issue because I had a bit of a trouble unzipping them in the first place. They feel comfortable to wear, like my foot in them is comfortable, but I just cannot get them zipped up. I can't even get it past my heel. So these will have to be unfortunately returned. These are decently comfortable, I would say. I ordered a size six. I think they run a little bit smaller than that. They feel a little bit tight around my foot, but nothing that a lighter sock won't fix. The zipper inside is easy to get undone, but it's a bit tricky to zip it back up. Needs some force. Maybe it's because I'm wearing the jeans, and again, nothing a lighter sock won't fix. These are super comfortable. I love how there are functioning laces on them, but I don't like how there is no zipper. But these are really, really comfortable, and they're nice and snug on my foot. These shoes, I won't say look that amazing on my feet, but they have functioning laces and functioning buckles on the side, alongside with a zipper on the inside of the shoe. They are a little tight at my toes, I would say. And the heel, because it's not on a platform, the heel seems a little high. 
but again these shoes are still cute and I like I love the laces of them and I love the little buckles of them and the gold accents These are quite comfortable as well, but as you can see, they're a little flexible in the toes, so they would leave permanent wrinkles really quickly, and I think they already have with me just putting them on one time. But they're comfortable, heels seem stable, um, there is a zipper on the inside. The zipper is really easy to unzip, but it's a bit of a challenge to zip it up. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing jeans under them or not. But they're quite comfortable so hopefully you enjoyed that as much as i did comment down which one is your favorite shoe also let me know if you want to see the rest of my collection of my massive shoe collection and let me know if you're interested in seeing how i style these shoes and what i would wear them with and things like that um otherwise hope you guys enjoyed Subscribe for more of my crazy videos of the adventures of my life, and I'll see you later on my other videos. Bye!